Hey, this is Bathmetrics with uh, one simple idea for organizing your ideas and being able to scroll through them quickly and figure out what's what. Um, I create a whole lot of ideas and throw them in a, a backlog, and I may not get back to them ever <laughs> or until much later. And it's nice to be able to quickly scroll through and audition all the ideas you had and figure out what's what. So here's a technique I use. I'm going to show it to you in Studio One, but this technique can work in any DAW. Um, Studio One has a recent files list that's always sorted by how recently you opened a file, or created a file, I should say. It's also got a songs list that is ordered alphabetically by song title. And Studio One has this default naming of, a, of the date you created a song plus your artist name. Um, and I know I'm Bathmetrics, but most of you know I have a different artist persona too called Dubscald. That's a different type of music. And that's just what I use in Studio One. So all my songs are named Dubscald by default with a date in front of them. So what happens is as, I'm, as I mess around and come up with something, it may be good, it may be not. But if I think it's good enough to throw on the backlog and revisit later to build out as a full project, or to just cannibalize for good ideas that I had. Um, I, I simply rename the file with idea instead of dubscald. And so it's you know, unique. It's, it tells me the date I came up with the idea. It's clearly an idea file. And then what I do is I open up the song and I burn a mix down. I make a, an actual mix down. And Studio One actually has this concept of exporting a mix down that uh, shows up as a special file in, let's see, show you what it looks like. In any given song folder, there's a mix down folder that is just the mix down. And it's different from all the other recordings or bounces or media that you may have done. Um, and so the mix down is just a simple wave called mix down. And what I do is I take those files and I take those songs and I put the songs into a folder called underscore ideas. And that's where they live. And it's separate from all the temporary stuff I might be working on or the actual song projects I'm developing that have names already. And then I have a different song folder I call backlog. And it has only one, it's just one project. It's one song project. And because it's named with an underscore at the front of the name, it always stays at the very top of the list in my song folder that's sorted by name. See down here, it's at the bottom of the list because I created it a long time ago. But here it's always at the top. And if we go into the backlog and open it up, I literally just drag in the mix downs of whatever, you know, eight bar, four bar, 16 bar loop idea I had, the basic core idea of a song that I thought, this is good. I might be able to make something out of this somewhere down the road. And I literally just drag in the files. They're all at different uh, song tempos, right? And it automatically names the track with that name. And I mute them all. And that way I can just open up this project and start the play button. And only the one that's soloed will actually play, right? And then I can go, no, it's not that one. And I can solo, uh, I'm sorry. I'm set to do non-exclusive solo by default. All right, how do I do exclusive solo? Now I gotta undo this, is it control? No, it's not control. Come on, I'll figure this out. Alt, alt is exclusive solo. Um, so I just come through here and I just solo each one, one by one and figure out which one I want. So hopefully this is a good trick for you. It's a, it's a really good way to organize quickly have access to all your ideas in one spot. And uh, it's kind of similar. I've really grown accustomed to the music loops in Studio One, which are kind of like clips in Bitwig. And I forget what Ableton calls them. They're probably clips in Ableton too. But you, know, you can take an entire complex group or track with all kinds of processing and synths and MIDI on it. And you can just drag it over here into this um, music loops and turn it into a thing that is effectively the clip that you dragged over. Um, but then if you listen to it, 
you can audition it and it's actually got a little miniature mix down of this clip right in here with all the instruments and everything on it. Right, and then if you say, yeah, that's the one I want, or we could try this one. Right, I have some generator, drop resampling generators that I've made, and then said, that's good enough to save as a clip, and then you can just take the clip and drag it into your project, and boom, now you have the original MIDI. In this case, it's a MIDI pattern, and um, you also have whatever... Um, whatever instruments, in this case it's phase plant, uh, a really cool generator made by Alchemy. Alchemy makes amazing patches, shout out to Alchemy. Um, and uh, then it's got portal on here with uh, a bunch of portal patches that uh, came from a, another really good sound designer who's an online friend of mine. <laughs> um, and that person is um, Data Broth, and Data Broth has made this really excellent, huge pack for Portal called Covalence that's full of incredibly good sound design uh, patches for Portal. And so this is just my favorite generators from Alchemy. Uh, Portal loaded up in, in that pack of, of Data Broths, and um, there we go. So yeah, since I mentioned them, let me go ahead and point out where they come from. Let's see, let's get my browser open here and show these to you. Oh, my browser's being recalcitrant. All right, so if we look for how can we, I don't know if that's the right address. We'll figure it out, yeah. Alchemy spelled without the H. Um, and in their store, this is the pack of generators that are just awesome. Really good glitch generator sounds. It's for phase plant. Highly recommend you check them out. And then Data Broth is on Gumroad. So let's see, Gumroad. Oh, I had it there. Come on, Gumroad slash Data Broth, and uh, here he, he makes a bunch of great stuff. But uh, this is the one I'm talking about. And again, it's it's very cheap. It's for Portal. Really, really good stuff. A hundred really crazy presets for Portal. These go way overboard. These are total sound design presets, and they're awesome. So, recommend both of those if you're into, um, you know bass music and, and heavy sound design in that kind of area. So hopefully this has been helpful and I'll talk with you soon.